This is my uh, 1955 International 300 Utility. Very similar to the uh, 300 Farmall, just a little different appointments on the tin and whatnot. And uh, so I'm doing some work with it. Gonna check it over a bit. The clutch needs adjusted. We've got uh, uh, otherwise running fine. It's standard steering. That's the only big remark I have against this tractor is the, is the standard steering as compared to power steering. And there's uh, so very much the way I found it back in the 80s when I got the thing. Had it for almost 30 years now. The uh, I don't use it enough now to bother taking the chains off. I'll just leave them on till next winter. And it uh, I use the forks a little bit for the uh, moving the firewood around. Never was able to find a grill for it. <laughs> There's a long story on how the grill is not there. So at one point in time I got tired of the, uh, obviously tired of the 6-volt positive ground system. So as in another video, this tractor also received a Delco alternator with a little bulb hanging out here. And that uh, that helped the starting immensely. I've, uh, it's a really nice starting tractor. And another little appointment I did was I took an early Ford, about a 19, just early 70s, when they come out with when Ford came out with the uh, with the small cap distributors for a while, and then they went to the big cap electronics. So I machined that housing down, made it into fit in there properly. The gear was the right size for the shaft. I got all that in properly and then uh, since it was a V8 distributor I cut out four of the tangs on the, on the inside on the rotor and made it into a four cylinder distributor. I just used four of the holes. And here's the uh, the control unit there. Anyway, so that's been on there for a dozen or fifteen years, that electronics, and, uh, and it starts very well. Uh, what I'm going to the hydraulics is a, it's a it's a do all loader, so the original hydraulics have been butchered into. I had some troubles and I had to install new valves here. This one valve, if I'm going to use the hydraulics at the back, I have to isolate the system. It's an open center system, and uh, I have to select either to use the loader or to use the uh, the rear hydraulics. Otherwise, it works fine. No idea how many hours there's uh, the tachometer was uh, vandalized out of it many many years ago. I put lights instead of the original ones that were supposed to be coming out of the hood on little arms. I put these uh, nice bright little suckers up here that uh, shine alongside the loader. So what I'm going to do here now is uh, is change this into a, this is what they call a quick attach. It's a uh, uh, international an early three pointer something. And anyway, so to use it for a three-point, I made up a couple of adapters, which I'll show you here. So this hitch comes out of here, you release it. Like that there, this, this whole unit. With the tangs comes out. Drop that unceremoniously in the dirt. So I made up two of these. It has a similar tang that hooks into the release mechanisms there. Uh, I didn't have any big heavy thick metal so I bought these ends and I uh, welded that onto this. Made it thicker by doubling up these plates. It's uh, very crude and it works. So by replacing that hitch with these, I think it makes it into a category two uh, three-point hitch. Now the only problem with it is, is uh, that the, whereas a three-point is on chains, and you can swing these out to put the attached and the, uh, the pins in, this here is fixed solid. So uh, when I put the post hole auger on here, I'm going to have to have these out and put the main unit in the hoop and then push it back in and lock it and then and then put the snap rings in. Anyway, that that makes it into a three-point. Just as quick as you please. <laughs> 